Hello, welcome to Lee Square Gaming. My name is Lee Square, and welcome to a brand new series, Car Mechanics Simulator. Now, in case you guys did not see uh, my Facebook post just yet, or or maybe I tweeted out on Twitter, um, House Flipper is still going to be going on. It'll just move it on to the weekend. I'll be moving it. I should be. I should hopefully be set up by doing it by the, by this weekend, but no promises. And Bus Simulator was still is still going to be a thing. I have not given up on that yet. I'm just gonna. I just need to get a, a one more piece so I can get that get that going. So I have all the recording th problems fixed. But with all that being said, we have a, a brand new series going here with Car Mechanics Simulator. This game, I believe, came out around 2018. Might be 2017. And has had many, 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 many updates. It's an excellent game, especially if you're if you're uh, 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 someone who is uh, very mechanically inclined, which I am to a degree, but not, I'm not the best. I don't have the most knowledge of cars, so if I do make st mistakes or if it takes me a long time to figure something out, that's why. But all that being said, I hope you enjoy this series. We always start from the bottom here. I've started with the normal game mode that includes the tutorial, as you see. You also started without the tutorial. You can do, I believe, a sandbox mode and an expert mode. But enough of, enough of that jibber jabber. Let's get going here. All right, we have the greeting here. <clears throat> Welcome to mechanics, sim the car mechanic simulator. See the new fully unlocked garage and, and check out the operation, the operation of various parts of the workshop. You can finish the tutorial by taking the car for a test drive and it, at any time. Good luck. All right. And now we got we got the tire thing here. It's going to tell us how to change tires. Use the mounting. Use for mounting a tire on the rim and balancing the assembled and the assembled rim. Okay. And obviously this is your toolbox. This is where you upgrade your stuff. You can make improvements that you obtain along the way to reach higher levels. Alright. And this is where you go in, you go to access the map and everything, as it says again right here. You can't test drive a car though because we gotta fix these cars. At least one of them. Alright. Now, so we go through the whole tutorial for you guys. Here's the car lift. You, it, 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 yeah, well, left the car. <laughs> okay, this is the engine mount. This is the, how you take the engine out. This is pre all pretty basic stuff that, that uh, I say m at least some of you would know. I don't want to say most. Just some of you might know. So I'm just briefly going over this stuff really, really quickly here so we can get into the meat of this. Here's the computer. This is where you can order everything. All right, this is the repair bench. Any part, well, let's say it's, some parts can be can can be repaired, others can't. If you could repair the part and be used again, then great, you just save yourself a ton of money. Or if you have a lot of spare parts, you know, and like say someone had had you know one kind of rim, but they wanted another kind of rim. Well, then you could repair that part that they had before and sell it. And boom, you got extra income in, in, into in, into your business. Okay, there we go. This is the test path. This is where we uh well test the test the suspension of the car and the brakes. Trying to get to the paint. That's for changing the oil, that little oil drain there. You gotta make sure you use it. Otherwise, you gotta clean it all up, and well, you don't wanna pay for additional charges to clean for oil. Cause that, get, that can get costly, plus, it's env environmentally unsafe. Um, and work so I safe, too. You walk someplace, slip. Ow. Alright, um, that's the parts warehouse. Allows for storing up parts we don't currently need. You can expand that warehouse areas as your inventory grows. Okay. 
Here's the paint booth right here. There we go. Paint shop, that's where you paint. Surprised it's not doing the turtle for the dino. This is where you can find soon the car's engine and stuff. You see, see how it is, and you can make little adjustments for what you need to do. But I guess we don't need to do that right now. So, here. Get, get the door guy. There we go. Close that. Our lovely little office, isn't it? Well, lovely. Sounds like I'm on skates. <laughs> um, if I do need to adjust the audio, just let me know and I will turn the sound effects down so it's not so loud. <clears throat> That's the welder. Allows us to perform re repair work on the car. And this is how we can customize the garage right here. Just going to that little ladder. But for right now, let's get these cars fixed. Let's open this up. This is that phone is where you can take orders. This is photo mode, that's where you take pictures. That's the settings menu itself, the tablet. So you can, it, it, once you unlock the tablet, because you don't have it automatically, you can uh, um, access to the, all the stuff on the, you get can from the computer. So you can be working on a car, it's like, okay, I need this part, boom, ordered. You get that part down. And, that's, uh, and so on and so forth. And part notes, you click on a part, you go and say, okay, let me add it to the list. That way you know what to order. Close that though. All right, and then when you uh, look and add a car, you actually see what you got to do. So it gives you more options. You get the tune parts, which once you get that ability, see the car status, disassemble the inside of the car, assemble mode, remove the car, overview mode, tablet, and parts notes again. You don't know what how this car looks. I believe, I believe this one doesn't have an engine at all. Oh no, it has an engine. It just won't start off. Let's see here. This is one start. Let's move the car to garage entrance. All right, garage entrance. Let's see if we can take this car for a test drive, shall we? To the test track. It'd be this guy. And we can't take it because it has no oil in the engine. All right, there we go. We're learning as we go here, folks. All right, so we'll move you back to, not the entrance, B. on the back on the rack. Our left B. There we go. Alright, simple oil change is what we gotta do here. Pop the hood. Lift it up. sure this uh, oil filter is all good. Alright. Where is your oil filter at? I see it. I just gotta look at it.
it's all good. Okay, so we'll just put that back on then. There we go, and we got it back on. Okay. All right. Put that down. It had no oil in the engine. Plug out. All right, we're good. Where's the dipstick on this engine here? Let's just make sure it's all good. There it is, I see it down below here. I'm on cursor, there we go. Yep, we're all good. All right. Close the hood. Go over here now. Now we should be able to drive this thing. All right, here at the test track, as you can see here, it says use to check the performance of the car, test the car steering, suspension, and braking. Basically, you see how the car feels and everything. You use the test track a lot to diagnose a lot of problems that the car may have. It's really, really helpful. You don't have to go like blazing speed though. You can just drive. It's even so, you've been in the game like, okay, this is what we got issues with. All right. Sounds nice though. I right, go through the cell and then just to make sure you get to the brake test because you just speed up during the brake test and you hit the brakes as hard as you can. start the game now saw so how lovely that nice uh, shop looked everything is at your disposal three three uh, lifts and everything here's where we start off with got one lift it's a loaded bitty shop and very limited what we can do let's take a couple calls real quick before we call it here what we got here parts condition And there, okay. the Katsumoto. They have a, excuse me, they have a bake problem. Bake? Brake problems. All right, here's the car and, all right. <clears throat> Move the car over. Car left A, please. Put it on the left. 
Now, sometimes if you go into the uh, car status, it'll tell you what's wrong here. Like in this case, it tells you what the problem is here because from the very beginning. That little B with just another uh, order that comes in. So then the ABS pump, a brake disc, and a brake caliper. All right, let's go see who's what here. Again, if I do stuff in like the wrong order, I apologize. I am not a mechanic. That's the brake servo. That's the brake. That's the fuel filter. I see it. I get to it. And when he takes parts off here, we'll just turn it around so I get a better view here. There we go. Two screws. Three screws. Alright. And six. Alright. And here's the actual pump. Just pop right off. Oh so, yeah, I was it was pretty bad. Now I'm going to the inventory real quick here. They say that's going to be okay for the ABS module. But yeah, this this needs to be replaced. So that's a real good ABS pump. I don't think we have... Yeah, we don't have tablet unlocked, like I said. So we go to the computer here really quick. I'll just order that as we go. Alright, we need to go to... Probably a part, so let's see. Hi, I need the ABS pump, please. And we ordered it. Alright. Now then. Get this thing up in the air. Personally, I would like to fix more on this car. But that's not an option. Let's get this tire off. All right, yeah. The calipers are pretty bad too in here. If it's all on one side of the car, that makes it a little bit easier. Just, just one spot. Okay. Then we go back to the inventory here. Yeah, as we saw, the the break the break disc ventilated. I might just call it a ventilated disc. It's pretty bad, as is the brake caliper. So let's go back to our handy dandy computer here. Categorize it by brake, so it's a lot easier. We need a one brake caliper, seventy-five dollars. A one brake disc ventilated, that's a hundred dollars. Bam. All right, now we ship all the parts in our inventory. So we go click on this, and we go to mount mode. We want the good one, please. Not mode for that. I want that. With that. Yes, there we go. Now uh, we just put on the tire here. This is the set we need to put on here. One, two, three. I know I'm supposed to go with probably a star pad in here. All right, drop it down. Mount mode. 
See if I can hit it to the there we go. The good pump, please. And yeah, the, uh, their existing module. Alright, that is the entire order right there. Put that down. You can't drop it. It won't let you... Uh, the whole... Well, you can't drop it. That was, that's a new feature. There we go. There we go. Car is ready to go. And we check the car status. Ah, oh, there's a brake disc and a caliper we missed. Okay. Put it back up. Check this one. This one looks really bad. Calipers, that caliper's gone. That brake disc looks pretty gone too. That caliper is destroyed. Alright, so let's go and order another brake disc, another brake caliper here. Yeah, let to order more parts, a brake disc, please. And a brake caliper. Thank you very much. Let's go back to that tire that wheel areas right here. Quick part mount. The good brake disc, please. And now, there we go. The good brake caliper with the brake cylinder. Yes. Put the tire back on, that assembly. Which person I'd rather have changed, but again, not my order. Alright, let's see now. Yep, car's all done. Just for a little bit of realism, I'm going to lower it all the way down. And then we'll finish the order. Car status and finish. There we go. And you see, we got paid. We started with four grand, we made $371. Not too shabby. We could do one more order real quick and then we'll call it a day here. Excuse me. story order that these are kind of bigger orders that help you really progress in the game there is a somewhat of a story because you do also can you can also buy cars from like a junkyard or just off an auction improve them as you go and add them to your collection or sell the entire car after you improve it and then make even more money so let's do a quick story element mode here it says a year and a half ago I, I Bought, the, uh, bought this car for my son. He said that he's not interested in anything I I except driving in it and occasionally filling it up at the gas station. 
Please check the oil and the tires. So a simple check order, that's all this is. And here it is. Got uh got some rust I'd say. Alright, let's move the car over to our only lift, because that's all things we got. I'm assuming we're gonna have to put this up in the air. Dipstick, oil stick. Um, yeah, that's um, that's not healthy looking oil. Oil should never look like tar. <laughs> All right. So with that being up, though, we're gonna get the lifter under it. Put her up in the air. I want to take a wild guess. These tires aren't good either. Just a wild guess. Let's see if I can do the examiner. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. All four tires are bad. Okay. All right. Standard tire B. It's probably gonna be all for four. These off. Change the tires for us for really quick. Alright, we got all four tires off the car here. We gotta go to our tire machine here, which I'm assuming we have a tire. Yeah, we have a tire machine here. Alright. We're going to separate the parts. Assuming we just hit the wrong button again. Hold on. Look away from that. There we go. I'm assuming we just have to. Yeah, the rims are okay. Just gotta get rid of the tires. Alright. Let's get this done really quick here. Alright, we got those tires off. We're just gonna order these tires now really quick here. Walking over to the computer here. Alright. Yeah, hi. I need to get some tires, which is not gonna be in yours. So we're going to have to go to the home screen here. All tires. It's standard tire B. We need four of them. Two, three, four. I need to see what size they are. That's a rookie mistake I made. Add it to the list. All right, so let's, not the radio. I won't be putting the radio on. I don't want to take any chance of copyright issues. I wonder if it will tell us the size, because I want to make sure I order the right size tire. Car status. It 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 don't tell us that. Okay. Well, we just ordered the default size then to say tire B. Standard tire B, please. Just need four of them. Cause I don't know anything else. Don't have that information. All right, go back to the tire changer here. And now we're gonna install tire. That with good one. Let's see what's going on there. Bam. That off and do it for the other three. All 
All right, that last tire is now balanced. We're gonna do a quick cut here for also getting this on. Do 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 do. Let's go to part mount mode. Someone ran to my drum. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Last tire mounted. Just got one final job here to do. Where's my oil thing? There it is. Come over here, you. You're needed. Move equipment. Car lift array. Boom. That's where it needs to be perfectly. Just got to take out that oil filter here. Where's the drain plug? Where is... Is this the drain plug? I need the drain plug. I see the plug. It's right there. I don't need to take off the whole oil pan. Just, just, just the plug. Use equipment. There we go. Oh, it just comes up automatically. Okay. Well then. Return you to where you belong. Alright, they changed that since the last play, which was a while ago. Alright, go to our part list. See what, what. <clears throat> I'll get him a new filter just because it's the best thing to do. Okay, so I can see what it was called. Alright, we don't need to get tires anymore. We need to go back to the parts store. Technically, I guess it would be the engine. You can always get it down a little bit faster. Just type in this little search box. Oil. Filter. And bam. There you go. And you just find the right one for you, which is this blue one right here. $25. Simple. Alright. To put that filter back on here. The other one wasn't bad, but putting fresh oil where they have a fresh filter in there too. Kid's not gonna take care of it, someone will. Drop you down. Go to the engine. Open the plug up. And fill her up. Make sure it's all in there. And she is good. Alright. Put the hood down. Bring the car down. Oh, that's going. We'll look at the overview and. Oh, it needs an L filter and a fuel filter too. Okay. I'm gonna have to go back on the left. Air filters over here. We don't need to do much of that. Just take these clamps off. Clip one, clip two, clip three, and come on, get the clip four. There we go. Take that off. Oh, that is, that's blacker than dirt. Jeez. And the field filter. I don't know why I left that. Well, the field filter. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we need a fuel filter and what kind of air filter was that? Because we're going to have a filter. Okay, let's so make sure it wasn't a specialty one. 
Do, do, do. Type in air. <laughs> there we go. Type in fuel. And there we go. Kid's gonna have a new car basically. Well, at least up here. Let me now put that on just let me get over here first since I have a little more room. Ugh. Put that on there. And there it goes. Way to think about it, you see. You know, it was a process. Cover back on. And put these these little clips on here. Alright, we should be done with this car now. So I don't think there's any more issues. Yep, we're all done. Okay. Let's just close the hood. No, not, not remove the hood. I do not want to remove the hood. That was my fault. I held the button down way too long. Yep, the hood back on. There. Hood's on. Okay. They should now be happy. There we go. And it looks like we might have a point also to spend. That's a spring puller. We don't need to use that just yet. Yeah, we have one. And now we don't have any, any upgrade points. Okay. Wish we had upgrade points, but we don't have any yet. Okay. Well. Just going to... Yeah, we can't fix anything yet. Alright, with that being said, I'm gonna call this one a day. This guy sell I'm just gonna sell these parts as I'm saying goodbye to you. So if you like this video, please click the like button down below. There's a brand new series I'll be having going on. It'll be going on every Wednesday. It's only coming out today because of everything that happened yesterday, but from here on out, every Wednesday. If you like this channel, Please click the subscribe button. I got American Truck Submitter ATS going on tomorrow. We got another holiday to do. I got Farmer Simulator coming on Monday. Also, regarding Farmer Simulator on Twitter, if you go to my my, my Twitter uh, 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 page, twittercom square G. That's capital L, capital S, and capital G for that. I have a poll going on there. I'm going to have that pinned at, at, at the top. Of, of my page please uh, vote Sandy Bay did just come out I believe on, on Tuesday if I'm not mistaken if you like me to make a second series on that on that map please vote in that poll the results of the fault the, the results of that poll excuse me will tell will tell me whether or not I should put the, the uh, the, uh, put up the second series with that being said I am Lee Square. This was Lee Square Gaming. This was Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. A fantastic game. Stay safe and have a wonderful day.